Hey, what's poppin' again, everybody? It's your boy Samaj. We back with another one. Salute to y'all for checking back in. Um, I thought I was gonna have just six more pops to show you guys, and I'll complete part two of our Funko Pop haul. But um, unexpectedly, we have three packages that came in today. Um, might as well jump into it and show y'all what we have. So first one off the gate, you guys should know what it is. You guys recognize that um, packaging tape? That's from the boy Gabriel Iglesias, also known as Fluffy. Um, I didn't expect this coming in, or uh, expect this being delivered today. Uh, they never, they never gave me a tracking or anything, so it was actually it was a hell of a surprise. But it's cool. I'm glad I got it. Um, you guys comment, let me know if you guys went after this pop. I know a lot of people did, but um, their website was like hella suspect. I mean, um, you know, the first the first release or the original release, the website just crashed because there was like so many people in there. And then after SDCC, um, they re-released it again. And even then it was like super hard to get. But um, you know, I, I tried the whole day on the second release date. And it didn't go through. I even put in my card information, PayPal information. I did all of that, and I still get the error during checkout. So I just totally gave up on it. Like that day, I just gave up on it. Come to find out, the very next, uh, the next morning, I get an email saying that um, my uh, uh, my order was confirmed. I'm like, whoa! Like I, I, I swear, I checked out multiple times in like two different uh, two different credit card and a PayPal and then they confirmed the order like the very next day so caught me off guard um, I was hearing rumors about that website getting hacked I'm not sure you guys heard about that rumor so I was kinda um, you know I was I was kinda stressed out I always I was checking my bank account I'm still checking my ba bank account from this day just to make sure like you know my card information or my PayPal wasn't hacked into while I was trying to check out of um, fluffy or you know the fluffyguy.com website but yeah man uh, here's the pop but yeah you guys let me know how how they went with you guys if you guys went after this pop um I think the pop is dope uh, I like I like the comedian right there Gabriel me and my girlfriend had seen uh, one of his stand-up show out here in San Diego when he did one in uh, Del Mar funny guy um, this is it's actually a late review on this pop I know you guys have seen it plenty of times but yeah man finally have them um, even the way they shipped it you know all you get was paper on what uh, two sides and then the other two sides is just pretty much the, the box um, condition came out good I mean not too it's not too bad maybe you got a little thing here but um, it's not smashed or anything. There's no creases. So I mean, looks good to me. Uh, glad to have them in my collection. So it's a pop comedian, and this is the first of that of that series of the comedian series. So dope. Let's go ahead and run through these two more boxes. These I actually know what they are. Um, I don't know which one is which though. But this is actually for my girl. Um, ordered, ordered on Macari. Um, tracking numbers show that it was gonna be delivered to tomorrow. So, again, surprisingly, it came early, came today, which is cool. We could uh, get it out the way, um, put it into her collection because this is her stuff that I have ordered for her. Um, and I believe she's gonna be collecting all these out of the box because um, everything in this. Uh, wave or in the series are all out of box in their um, in the room already So uh, box condition so if you guys see one of these pops with like super bad box condition That's because we're not uh, she's not collecting inbox. They're gonna be out of box. So matter of fact here we go We have Bellatrix from Harry Potter and this box is like beat up. 
like the route and I, I knew prior to ordering it that it was it was a messed up box but like I said she's collecting this out of box look at that that thing is super beat let's take her out uh, it's pretty old pop what was it uh, 2017 two years ago so let's go ahead and get out the box I don't know why they taped it there's tape like right here bruh Um, her stand right there is loose inside. That's all right. You see how the pop looks, though. So here we go. We got Bellatrix. Goes to my girlfriend's um Harry Potter collection, or not even a collection. It's just all her um you know the buildings of Harry Potter. So there you go, Bellatrix. Put her up there next to Fluffy. Last package, also from Makari. Also, uh, my girlfriend's pop that I ordered for her. And again, it's another um, Harry Potter that goes into her collection. Can you guys guess which one it is, though? This is one that she, I wouldn't say really want, but. Um, she says this is incomplete her Harry Potter uh, collection or what what she's um trying to accomplish so this last pop is gonna be the last Harry Potter pop that she'll um, that she'll buy or she'll want actually and that's actually Lucius Malfoy as the Death Eater and again this is not a mint box it's beat up in the corner beat up down here but she's collecting it out of the box so the box um, doesn't matter so yeah so she have her um, her Lucius or her Death Eater well it's Lucius Death Eater whatever so she'll be good now that she have Bellatrix and uh she's there so that's it for her stuff and this is considered our stuff this is you know mine and hers but that's her stuff now let's um let's get into the pop that I had sitting here for like two weeks now so first since I'm unboxing stuff anyway let's go ahead and get into this one so this is a Ghostbuster box and uh, pop and tea bundle so it's a Ghostbuster box. Um, you got your uh, Funker Insiders Club, San Diego exclusive 2019. Now that doesn't mean that it was only exclusive to San Diego. It was only exclusive to GameStop. So um, all the GameStop in the nation should have received this box. Uh, that San Diego exclusive that just pretty much means that it was um, for you know San Diego San Diego Comic Con for you know all their um, releases. But yeah. Um, Dope box, dope packaging. It's the uh, if you guys watch the movie, you guys should know that that's the ECU, the ecto containment unit, I believe it's called. And you know, it's pretty much a ghost trap. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, the only thing I'm more hyped about this, uh, what's in this box, is the t shirt. I really love the t shirt, I think that's cool with Bankman and Slimer. And I mean, Bankman's cool too. Um, I think Venkman might be my favorite character of the Ghostbusters. You know, uh, uh, Bill Murray is actually um, a good actor, man. I really like Bill, uh, Bill Murray. I think he's funny. And um, I do have a Slimer pop ready, so with Venkman on it, uh, with a Venkman, and then the t shirt with uh, Venkman and um, Slimer, it just makes sense. So since I put the t shirt out first, let's go ahead and get into the t shirt. And you guys will see me rocking this shirt in one of these videos very soon. I don't have a lot of Funko shirt. But it's cool to have shirts that you know that um that you like. So right there it says Ghost Battle. You have Slimer on one side in green, and then it fades into black where you have Peter Venkman. And then what it says on the bottom, oh it says who will you call? Ghostbusters, but that's the t-shirt. I'm not gonna throw that on the floor. 
and here's the pop and it's empty that's all you get it's just pretty much a pop and tea uh, pop and tea bundle so you got Peter Beckman there um, GameStop exclusive and this one he's covered in slime so that's the difference from the common let's go ahead and get him out of the box um, I'm gonna I'm gonna collect this one out of the box too because Slimer is out of the box so might as well have them uh, with each other let's check the detail on this pop man I don't own any other go uh, any other Ghostbuster pop but Slimer so now we have uh, Peter Venkman covered in slime and it's looking really good the slime on him his gear even his uniform how they put like the little um graphic there with the ghost uh x out so it's really dope but yeah let me know if um you guys were able to pick this up or you guys were even um aware of this uh pop and tea bundle from your gamestop okay so uh one two three four that's four pops down we actually have five more and these five are from the same series so they are all from the collection and um, I'm actually missing one so there's five here but I'm missing one there's a total of six now if you guys don't know what they are these actually had just um, released like right after Comic Con but there was one pop that's in here that was only exclusive to Comic Con and it's um, another one out of six pops that I had wanted from SDCC so you guys saw the flock bullseye on yesterday video which is uh, the part one video so this pop right here I actually got before the flock uh, bullseye but um matter of fact I think this pop right here I got it before even my other uh, SDCC um, exclusive or shared um, pops so we're gonna go ahead and get into it um, I'm not gonna put out no particular order they're just all stacked up in the bag so first one we have Alexander the Grape Otter Pop. Now how many y'all how many y'all had Otter Pops when y'all was younger, man? This was like the go-to um, you know, cold treat during the hot day. Even on cold days, man, I, I tend to when I was a kid, I tend to just grab them. So dope. Um bring back a lot of memories. Uh Otter Pops were cheap. You buy them by the bun uh by the box. And it's a great snack for the whole family. So you guys see where I'm going with this. With the first pull. So you guys should know. Um, what the next pop's going to be. It's actually right next to. Alexander the Grape there. Right here we go. Louis Blue Raspberry. The Blue Otter Pop. Which was my favorite flavor Otter Pop. And this one is the Comic Con exclusive one limited to 1000 pieces dope pop um i want to take the others one other one out of the box uh, might do the same with this one i think you uh for the collectors out there who has these pops um uh, you guys may not agree with me but i do think that they'll look way better out of box than in box so yep there's louis blue next one we have little orphan orange I never knew that was her name for the orange otter pop so it's little orphan orange she also come with her little puppy there there's that wave now like I said there's six but I'm missing one and um, you guys will see which one I'm missing when I pull these last two out next one we got sir isaac lime so this was actually one of my least uh least favorite flavor um you know throughout the, uh, the variety of flavors you got in the um outer pop boxes what's this one right here and i mean i i picked them up because i mean we got 
majority of them here already. So might as well just grab the green one too. I mean, I don't really like the pop too much, the way it looks. But I mean, it's Sir Isaac, so it is what it is, y'all. Last one, and this is actually the heavier one. He this he has some weight. We got Poncho Punch. This is uh, Poncho Punch. It's actually my third favorite flavor. Again, my first, my first favorite is uh, Louis Blue there, and then my second favorite is the one I am missing. And that's strawberry shortcut right there, man. And the only reason I'm missing him because at the time I picked up uh, these four common ones at Hot Topic, they didn't get the delivery of strawberry um, shortcut. So I went out to GameStop hoping that they had it. They didn't have it, so I ended up putting a pre-order, uh, pre-ordering with GameStop. Um, you know, thinking that they was gonna get it. Uh, Within the week and whatnot, they didn't get it. Uh, Hot Topic finally got their shipment of uh, the strawberry otter pop. Um, I was planning to just cancel my pre-order with GameStop and just grab the one at Hot Topic. Really, no rush for me to have it. I mean, those still all my pops will still be here. They ain't going nowhere. Um, it's not necessary to have that pop like right now, even. Even though I could go get it right now from Hot Topic. But yeah, that's all the Funko Pops. Um, I promise y'all, unless something comes tomorrow, which I doubt. So, um, next video is going to be on these two. Uh, one or the other, you guys choose. You guys want to see Majin Buu Final Form. Or you guys want to see the X-Force Wolverine. I'll let you guys vote, drop that comment, let me know what you guys want to see unboxed and review, and we'll do that tomorrow. So, once again, y'all, you guys know what to do. Smash the like button, y'all like what y'all just saw. Subscribe to your boy if you haven't yet. Hey, we have 20, uh, we need 25 more subscribers, then we can do that 150 subscriber giveaway. Comment, let me know what y'all think about the pickups. Let me, know. Let me know what's y'all favorite uh, flavor Otter Pop, man. Again, this is my favorite right here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Big shout out to everyone who's been commenting, subscribing, sharing the video. Stay tuned. We got more stuff on the way. Peace, and I'm out.